Hi viewers, this is Sri Ramulu. So today's topic is decimal to binary conversion, right? Decimal to binary conversion. So in the previous video, I explained binary to decimal conversion. Now it is reverse. Any decimal number can be converted into its equivalent number. Its equivalent uh, number, right? Its equivalent binary number here. It's equivalent binary number. Next, for integer conversion is obtained by continuous division by two, keeping track track of remainder till you get quotient. Quotient how much you have to get? Last zero, and the remainder is one. Okay, up to getting the zero value, quotient value. Till that value, what we have to do? We have to divide continuously. Okay. Now, next point: the remainder taken in reverse order form is the binary number. Okay. If you take the reverse order of uh, uh, reverse order of remainders, that gives to us binary value of decimal. Next, left remainder being the most significant bit. Okay. MSB short form. Right remainder being the least significant bit is called LSB short form. So examples here. What is the MSB LSB? I'll tell you. For example, you have the number like this. It is a, sorry, it is a binary number. Let it is a binary number. It is which side? Left side. It is MSB. It is right side. LSB like this. Least significant bit, most significant bit. Okay, see here. Let convert 37 base 10 to equivalent binary number. So that means the decimal number convert into binary number. How can we convert? 37. So how many are 37? Uh, 218 ja how much? 36. Here value is how much? 37. Remainder is 1. So that remainder is written here. Okay. Once again. 37 is there. Divide with 2. 2 18s are 36. A remainder is 1. This one is written here. Okay. So 18. Next, 2 9s are how much? 18. Remainder is 0. Once again. 18 is there. How much? 2 9s are 18. Remainder is 0. So 0 is written. Clear? Next. 9 is it divided into the 9 2 4 za 8 its a difference is 1 remainder is 1 here 4 here it is 1 4 1 only this side we have to write remainders only okay this side remainders we have to write okay next 2 2 za 4 remainder is 0 2 1 za 2 remainder is 0 2 0 ja 0 0 minus 1 sorry 1 minus 0 how much 1 only so it is that is why last is 1 once again how it is 1 is there 1 divide with what 2 2 0 ja how much 0 remainder is 1 so that 1 is written here so finally remainder is how much sorry uh, quotient Quotient is how much? 0. So always this side quotient we have to write and this side remainder we have to write. Okay friends, clear? Then MSB. So write first term it is, next term this value, this value, this value, this value, last this is. So first two which is we have to write? 1. 1 is written. How many zeros? 2 zeros. 2 zeros. Next one. 1. 0. 0. 1. 1. So like this. So this number is um, this uh, remainder is MSB and uh, this remainder is LSB, like this from base to top. This is a one conversion. Next, one more conversion, one more example. Okay, so please uh, listen carefully while doing this thing, while converting. Okay, twenty-three number is there. How can we convert? One second, twenty-three is there. With what we have to divide with the two. So this is a quotient. How many are? 2, 11, how much? 22. 
remainder is how much remainder means uh, differentiate 23 so 23 minus 22 how much 1 so it is quotient it is remainder first write quotient and then remainder quotient remainder clear next again divide 11 with 2 so 2 11 2 5 how much 10 remainder 1 quotient is 5 first write quotient next remainder quotient remainder like this next 2 2 za how much 4 but here 5 you have difference is 1 2 1 za 2 okay 2 1 za 2 so remainder is 0 next 2 0 za 0 only 1 minus 0 is 1 only so like this okay now write from top to bottom 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 like this so 23 decimal value in binary is how much 1 0 triple 1 next point values how can we convert point values so for fraction part we must multiply here we have to multiply their division here multiplication that's it only convert 0 0.65625 65625 how many numbers are there 1 2 3 4 5 numbers are there so how many multiply we have to multiply it with the 2 5 times we have to multiply that's it only it is simple logic 5 times first write what the value is given here okay multiply with the 2 so you may get this value among them write this value here only so if you write one value here what you get here zero you get so zero value with a zero here it is written okay once again first whatever value is given write it and multiply with two then you may get something so before point before point how much value is there one so write one here only okay write one value here only write written so first what we got here with the multiplying when we multiply to this number with one uh, two then we get what we we got we got 1.31250 we got so one here so drop this one so write one here only here only so if you write one here only then what we get here zero you get so zero three one two five zero three one two five zero again multiply to this number with two Again, what you get? You may get this. Here we didn't get any one value, so we got zero. Write that zero here only. If you write here zero, again zero will remain there only. This value right here. So this arrow indicates write this value here, this value here. Again, multiply with the two. Then you may get this value. Here we got one before one point. So drop that one, remove that one, write here one value. If you remove from here and you write one value, then what you get here? Zero, you get zero. So write this value here with a zero. Again multiply with the 2. So here you got 0. Nothing you get. You didn't get 1 means 0. Write 0 only. And keep it here 0 only. 0. Multiply with 2. Then you got 1 here. Drop 1. And write here 1. Then here what you get 0. So next no more values are there. Stop it. And generally up to what we have to multiply. How many numbers are there here. 5 numbers. 5 times you have to multiply. And then stop. Here also 5 times multiply. 1, 2, 3. Four, five times and see order one zero one zero one one zero one zero one see like this decimal okay so it is after point so after zero after zero values only we have so that is why after zero zero point one zero one zero one one zero one zero one decimal so uh, it's equivalent number is how much this one it is zero zero written its value is this one okay once again one more example convert 0 0.625 to its equivalent binary number so how many times we have to multiply only three times three numbers are given three times multiply enough so three times first time whatever value is given write that here and multiply with the two yes multiplied how much i got i got 1.250 drop this one 
then what you get here if you dropping dropping means uh, remove one value from this then you may get zero and with zero write this value here and again multiply with the two so one is dropped here and multiply and next to return this side arrow mark i have for, forgotten here you must keep arrow mark like this okay and next two into this point what do you get 0 0.5 so what do you got here zero if you get zero right here zero only if you get one right one if you get zero zero only so next with a zero and again right it is like this multiply with this then you get one point something and write this one here then what do you get finally 0 0.00 so with the 0 0.00 if you multiply with any number you cannot get anything so that is why it is the last one 1011 1011 so it is a binary number of 0 0.625 decimal number right so like this okay friends thank you so don't forget watching this video till the end